Welcome to TRB Tips and Tricks video. In today's topic, we will be covering on anchorage and lap settings, mainly focus on the things that require to take note of during such adjustment. And these are the three common areas that all users require to take note of during such adjustment for anchorage and lap settings. So let's proceed to the software. As you can see, after I recalculated, I realized that the lab value is actually incorrect. And how do I actually adjust the lab value is actually under floor settings. As you can see, under floor settings, it already provides you a default value for both anchorage and lab setting. So how do I actually adjust it? It's actually like this. So for example, column number one, it uses high tensile bar, which is labeled under T. So let's proceed back to floor settings under column lab type of bar T. So you adjust it here accordingly. So for example, 500. And for anchorage, also applies the same theory as lab. However, you, however, if you have any issue in you are not sure how to actually key it, you may always proceed to prom. Under prom, you will provide you a simple explanation on how to actually key it for both anchorage and lapping. So let's proceed back to the model, recalculate it. And as you can see, it did not capture it. Why? This brings me to my point number two, which is calculation rules. Under calculation rules, under rules number six for column element, there is this setting called lab one and lab two. Please adjust it to lab two. Why? As you can see, let's proceed back to four settings. Lab two is actually where it will only capture whatever you set for ground floor only whereas if you set as lab 1 you will actually apply floor number 1 anchorage and lab value how so let me bring up my calculator so for example 34 d so 34 times 20 which is the diameter of the bar is actually 680 so that's where your 680 comes from so after i make such adjustment I right click to recalculate it to actually capture whatever I set. As you can see, it's 500. And lastly, point number three, which is attribute editor. Where you have special case such as this. Both column is under the same theme. However, this column and this column does not apply the same anchorage and that value. And how do you make such adjustment? It's actually under attribute editor. In attribute editor, we have separate rules for anchorage and lab setting. By selecting the specific entity and you adjust it here accordingly, for example, I change it to 450 and recalculate this particular column, it will show 450. Whereas I proceed to this column, it will still remain as 500. So by selecting by doing adjustment and attribute editor, it only apply to the selected entity that you have selected. It will not affect the remaining column. So let's proceed back to our slides. So as you can see, I already explained three common areas, which is floor settings, calculation rules, and lastly, attribute editor. Thank you for watching.